Process modeling usually requires the collaboration of many stakeholders. This collaboration often happens in the form of workshops, where people gather around the process model and discuss it. While discussing the model, body language helps us to communicate efficiently. We can tell what parts people are focusing on, we can point out relevant elements to other people, and express agreement or disagreement with our body posture. In remote collaboration, we often cannot use these communication shortcuts. Using colored cursors on a shared desktop application does not provide the rich information a real body can express, and quickly gets confusing when more than three or four people collaborate at the same time. Even video conferencing does not allow for certain behaviors such as pointing, as the video image is separated from the space of the process model. To address these issues, I have developed a virtual environment process modeling tool in which users are represented as avatars. The avatars therefore indicate where a user is, what he or she is looking at, and can be used to gesture and point to direct the attention of other users. This should make communication easier. An issue with using a virtual environment is that users now not only have to manipulate the process model, but also have to control their view and avatar movements. This takes up additional cognitive resources that they could otherwise use for the task at hand. I have therefore implemented several natural user interfaces to minimize the resources required to use this tool. First of all, uh, we freed up the hands of the user by using a touch interface. Users can now manipulate the model and control the view without having to hold onto a mouse and keyboard, which frees up their hands for gesturing. Another issue is controlling the avatar. Usually, you have to navigate menus or remember specific buttons to trigger predefined gestures in a virtual environment. This is neither fast nor intuitive. Furthermore, you are stuck with only the gestures such a tool provides. Using a low-cost gaming technology, in this case a Microsoft Kinect, we instead capture the user's movements and display them directly on the avatar. This way any gesture you can think of can be performed and transmitted directly to all other users in the virtual environment. The biggest issue we saw with people during our validation of this tool, however, was the control of the camera. Normally, in virtual environments, this is achieved by turning the view using the mouse and moving it by using the keyboard. Seeing that we already captured the user's posture, we instead decided to use his head as a six degree of freedom input device. By turning his or her head left, right, up or down, the view can be turned. By moving the head to the front, back, left, right, up or down, the camera can be moved that way. Because you don't want the camera to accidentally be moved, a button has to be held down to activate this control mode.
Another feature that is particularly interesting for large displays is the touchless control mode. Since we already capture the user's hand position and recognize whether a hand is open or closed, we are able to use this information to manipulate the process model just using the user's hands. With all these interfaces, virtual reality process modeling is only a small step further away. As you can see, we can have users actually be in the virtual environment, look over their shoulder and point at a model element in the distance. Seeing that an increasing number of offices make use of multi-monitor setups and large collaborative environments such as QUT's Cube often consist of multiple displays, our tool supports synchronizing the camera view across multiple clients. This way, multiple screens can be used as one large display, so you can see a large process model in its entirety, or people can collaborate co-locatedly.